on this little change purse and the zipper just will not budge. I think it's um, corroded. So I'm gonna cut it open here. Let's see what we have. I'm trying not to cut what's in here. Okay, we got, there's a lock that's corroded. I just dropped it. A key that's corroded. It's just a bunch of corroded stuff. And a corroded bag, literally corroded lock. All right, there's nothing in there. Infants and child, uh, something's clothing and toys, parentheses gifts. Plus a blue box to assemble, okay? And when you open it up here, I did just flip the lid open. Um, we got books, Halloween, Halloween, lots of little Halloween books. Halloween, there was an old lady who swallowed a bat. The flaps keep falling back closed. We got Curious George. It's a, actually it's a book and a CD for babies. That's nice. And then a Mommy I Love You book. And then once we get past that, as you can see, look at all this. Brand new babies closing. Oh, these are like Virgo, Gemini. Leo, Libra, so it's got all of the, um, what is that called? Astrology? Whatever, I don't know, I'm not, in, I'm not into that, but I know a lot of people are. Let's move this out of the way for a second. And lots of, man, look at all this brand new baby stuff. Baby clothes, baby bibs. At least here on the top is baby clothes, baby clothes. Um, sling, put a baby in. Brand new little um, baby socks, full set. Good gift. I love my dad, I love my sis. These are brand new Old Navy. Like I said, I don't know how they got all of this just from all different stores. It's not the same store, but all different stores, they've got all this stuff that's still in the packaging. I mean, I guess maybe she was ordering it online. That'd be normally, you don't usually get them in the store like this, so potentially she was ordering it online and just never opening it. But it's a ridiculous amount, really, of new clothing. Oshkosh, you got brand new um, Mickey Mouse here. And let's kind of see if we can look under some of these clothes. Look at this, just. I mean, I'm not even showing most of this stuff. There's just so much of it. Here's some shoes, baby shoes. They're not any kind of like real good name brand. Here's a little, this is cool. Ramp Racer. What is this? This is, oh, these are little cases. Um, they're just little like hard plastic cases with a carabiner hook on the end of them. And then when you get down in here, look, Dr. Seuss, little mini ones. And I'm assuming maybe this box here is the blue box to assemble because I haven't seen the blue box to assemble anywhere else. My first Christmas stocking. Tights. Uh, <laughs> Cookie Monster bathing suit from Kohl's. I mean, look at that, 20 bucks. I mean, obviously, Kohl's normally would have sold that for probably $10 half off, but crazy, crazy amount of stuff that this lady had. All right, we're back again another day here. We're still going through these boxes, but we literally will be going through these boxes for weeks. So we'll just keep getting footage and keep showing you what we find. But Anne's over there. She's going through a box. I got some boxes over here. We're filling this auction up. We're doing good because... We start filling up the auction on Monday morning. It usually takes us all the way to do like the stuff on the tables and shelves, usually till about middle of the day, Wednesday to Wednesday evening, somewhere kind of in that range, you know, Wednesday afternoon on average to fill all this up. But it's Tuesday morning, first thing in the morning and we're already very close. All we gotta do is fill a couple tables down there and then this last set of shelves down here. So we'll be done with this by the middle of today and we start getting ready for next week or do some, you know, cleaning up in areas that, you know, you can't always get, get to and everything. So we're doing really good, but that's because this unit, these boxes are so good and so easy. 
every box is just crammed full of good stuff so it's making it really easy on us the only thing really that we're having to kind of not be able to put out you know either here or send up to our dig aisle which is where we you know send all of our cheaper stuff is a few boxes that have clothes that aren't new now some of them are brand new and putting stuff out here then the ones that aren't new i'm just um but they're still nice and clean and neat we're putting them right here we send those up front and put them on our racks and sell them up there but about to start digging through more boxes today housewares and office supplies do we have these are just just little stainless steel bowls um yeah they're just like a set of bowls i guess we'll just put all these we'll make a lot out of these for our auction here raptor drywall anchors so this is all just like little stuff we'll put on our dig aisle adhesive remover that's a <laughs> beef and lamb seasoning mm, okay empty i mean somebody could use that we got some scoops here For some reason scoops always sell really good people always like scoops you get an old vintage scoop. I mean, those things will go for a lot of money. I've always we put them in the auction. People go crazy over them. Ceramic ginger grater. Easily grates ginger, chocolate, and cheeses. Okay. Um, move this stuff. We got a KitchenAid little, like, silicone muffin pan. I don't think that necessarily goes with it. I mean, it kind of fits in there, but I mean, it could be used with it for sure. Cups. And it looks like, you know, kind of general household stuff we're going to get into down there. Some of that out of the way, kind of digging down deeper. And memo pad. Oh, we got a nice little set of um, headphones. Ideal for PC and gaming. Koss. I don't know how you say this brand. Koss, I guess. What is this here? A little kind of organizer here nice and clean looks looks like it's never been used and there's nothing in it but the little little packets of stuff that keeps it nice and dry and then yeah kind of more office stuff down in here here's a looks like it's still got the sill on it a um, dymo label maker and get down in here Ooh, oh we got tape this is always good oh man we got a lot of tape this is good because we can always use this at the store. The only thing the double-sided. Oh, uh, okay. This is all double-sided. I'll just sell this because we don't use that. And then we got plenty of dispensers. But there is maybe a couple rolls here. That one, that one. I think that's double-sided. No, it's not. Okay, so there's a few rolls for us to use. Sliders. Um, looks like we got like folders. Wouldn't it, brand new pens? I mean, wouldn't expect anything outside of this unit than them to have new office stuff. Not, nice big. What are these like little like little scrubbers for taking a bath? Here's more tape. It's a dispenser, but it's got a whole roll of tape on it. We'll definitely use that. And down in here, it's just. Is that smart tape? 25 foot. Huh. Smart tape measure. Stapler. That's down underneath here. Oh. More tape. New folders and stuff. A drawing mannequin. I don't really know what that is. Drawing mannequin puppy. If you draw on it. Oh, okay, I see. It's the one you kind of put into different poses. So when you want to draw it, you can, you know, kind of see the way that the 
body's supposed to look, do the correct angles and skill and every, everything like that. So it's just kind of a, you know, household and then office supply a lot, but lots of, you know, lots of sellable new merchandise in here once we, once I get it all pulled out and everything. All right, besides all of these banker's boxes that are all, you know, identical size, I mean, there must have been a hundred plus of these things in the unit. Do have some of these clear totes here throughout the unit. And looks like probably gonna be more of the same new stuff, but that's just kind of an empty, that's an empty ice cream container. All right, let's see. Um, it's like a piece of framed art. It's actually like, it's got different um, Rocky Mountain wildflowers, different flowers like dried and smashed into this picture here. That's kind of interesting. A lot of times people like that when it has like specimens in it. Tablecloth. Oh, here you go. This is cool. That's a nice little cutting board right there. Great America bamboo cutting board. Martha Stewart cast iron says so nice and heavy enamel trivet. Big top balloon dog ceramic bookend. So a lot of bookends that I've already gotten literally like just the boxes we went through so far. I think there's been three sets of bookends. Okay, so this yeah, it's like one of the, you know, it looks like the balloon animal there. I guess I don't. It's not really flat on one side. Normally, like a book, and I guess it's just it's just made heavy, so you just kind of prop it, prop the books up against it. Um, garden flower, navy marine side plate, hmm. and what is this? Looks kind of like it might be the same type of thing. Garden flower dinner plate. It feels like there's just one plate in there, though, so. Set of dishes, maybe they're just, like, more decorative. That's kind of a funky little, you know, water pitcher there. It's like one you'd water plants with, but it's all ceramic. Shad Aura. Relic brand earrings. Spring bling. Is there anything else? No. So some earrings there. Let's keep going on this box and finish it out. We got index cards. Looks like something to do nails with. Um, this is like one of those little things you put on your head to keep your ears warm. So this would all be like, that's gonna all go on the dig aisle. Um, swimming fish. Glass something fish. Um, where'd my scissors go? I don't know, okay, that came off easy, so. Oh, is it a mug? So it's just a, <laughs> I mean, it's just a cup or a glass here with fish painted on it. Um, travel mug, travel mug, pearl and the crawl. I don't know what that is. I don't know where my, I didn't bring the scissors over here because it was a container. It's just a hook, fancy little hook, brass hook made in, in India. And then this, like I said, this says it's a travel mug. I don't know if it's anything special or not. Okay, it's one of these ceramic, oops, a New York one. In New York, there's the lid stuck up in there. So two of those, Let's set this down, the next box here, this is arts and crafts and I think I flipped this up and looked at it just, and yeah, that's what it is, all, all arts and crafts stuff. 
stamp pads, um, stamps, crayons. I don't know what, there's something big and wooden there, but like foam, it's kind of foam pieces here, I guess. Balloons. Okay, it's just a mirror with the hooks on it there. Melissa and Doug Jumbo Multi-Theme Coloring Pad. And this just, just like the rest of them, it's just crammed full with more crayons and all this kind of stuff. These are like little 12 bears. They're like little Hawaiian looking bears. And all the way to the bottom, it's going to be stuff like this. And multiples on that. Multiples on a lot of stuff, but these are all new. Sticker collection, sticker collection, coloring. There we go. All right, we get another container here. This one, fragile items for condo. I saw several boxes that said um, stuff on it and it said for Connie's condo. Connie, which apparently, I'm assuming is the name of the person. This was their unit because so many boxes said Connie. But um, so apparently Connie had a condo or was getting a condo. I'm not really sure. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to a little bag, I believe. Here's another, um, and a lot of stuff was, um, now I can't think of the word, not engraved. Um, anyways, you know what I'm, you know the word I'm looking for, I just can't pop it in my head right now. But, um, it says John on it. So unfortunately, on some items, it kind of decreases the value because if your name's not that name, a lot of people don't want it as much. They're not going to spend as much on it. We got some... I guess they're just ordering stuff like crazy. Here we go, kitchen utensils. Looks like coffee mugs right here. Is there anything special or not? They're Corel. It's Corel stoneware though, not the normal Corel that's unbreakable. Those definitely seem like they would break. All right, what is this? Looks like um, Pyrex stuff, maybe. Like, you know, Pyrex baking dishes, that kind of thing. Yep, you got one, two, three, four pieces there. And actually, that's what this is, too. Here's another piece. I'll open those in a minute and see if they match. But it's just kind of general, basic, clear Pyrex. All right, this, I don't know. There's a couple items that are wrapped in this kind of corrugated cardboard here let's see what this might be and then we have this or a couple boxes there to unwrap let's see it's like a uh, i thought it was a candle but i think it's actual food yeah minced ginger <laughs> So food there, get rid of that. This is probably food too. But this, is this some kind of dishes? Um, Hearthstone chili red square dinner plate. So this, there's four of them and that is the same thing. So I think this is just like a set of, of plates. what it is yeah nice plates and that's it for that box all right last box i got i got a brand new set of solar you can see them over there solar landscape lights solar power clamp light other household stuff opening up another box here i just can't show every box but just know what you see i mean it's just a fraction of what we're actually pulling out just because just too much to show but right here brand new pop-up pamper what does this one say on the outside probably house housewares cloth things it's etc okay 
Got some Fiskars. An egg timer. Egg perfect color changing egg timer. So little kitchen stuff. I guess this is cloth things like it's on the butterfly sham from the pottery barn. Um, velour beach towel. Nice beach towel there. Okay, yeah, down in here there's all kinds of stuff like that. What is this? Like a, a jewelry polishing cloth. Several of these. General cloth. So cleaning cloths and that kind of stuff. Oh, here's a um, mortar and pedestal. It's white marble. I knew when I picked it up, I was like, oh, that's heavy. And veggie chop. It's a little veggie chopper. This one is a dumpling press. So like I keep talking about, the, the, there's just a lot in these boxes because they're packed so well. Got a nice little set of knives here and some other utensils in there. Kitchen utensils. Slip that down. Throw blanket. And more, what is this, napkins? Or yep, quilted napkin. So here's all the cloth things that was talking about down in here. You can see all kinds of brand new stuff. More of those polishing cloths. Oh, this looks like a whole like comforter right here. Cape Cod quilt. So a nice, okay, it's a full slash queen quilt. That's nice. And underneath here we've got a soup ladle stand. Got some other, what are these, placemats maybe? Yep, a whole bunch of placemats. Trying to look and see what's underneath here. Placemats, placemats. This is like a, a pillow down here and then a puzzle rack. It's kind of cool. For the wooden puzzles. Melissa and Doug wire puzzle rack. Brought a few more boxes in. I'm about to look at this one. I just cut the tape off. Houseware slash gifts. Just notice this one on here. It says C shoes. I'm assuming that's Connie shoes, but then it says lamp. And then it says Andy slash jewelry tree. So, hmm. I haven't seen any kind of jewelry in this unit so far. Oh, one pair of earrings, just costume jewelry. I saw a couple boxes that were marked costume jewelry. But I mean, it might just be the thing you put jewelry on and actually no jewelry in there but all right oriental trading company boo bunches beanbag toss okay so it's like a kid's little cornhole board type thing all right look at this here 3d dino adventure set leah's ever she's got to come check out and see here's a really nice totes umbrella Um, Eagle Creek, what is this? Just a bag, um, packet, folder, 20. Okay. And then this, that's a nice, um, cooling rack. And look at us, we got a bunch of Build-A-Bear boxes. Right here. Not a bunch, but two, well, three, four, five, about six or seven of them here. I don't see any Build-A-Bears in here. What's, what's in this box right here? Could be a Build-A-Bear. I don't know. Um, no, it says a lantern. Marrakesh lantern. Alright. Hold on just a minute. I gotta go check my phone real quick and check on some auctions that I'm bidding on. Look at laying over here. All right, let's see. I really like this one right here. It's at $1,010. It's a 10 by 25. Jammed full. Here, I'm going to put a bid on this. If I can get it to load up. No telling what this might end up going for. I don't know if you, how well you can see it there, but it's loaded down nice and neat. Uh, I waited too long. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bid when it gets closer down. Hold on a second. Kind of like this one here. This one's only at $190.
way more messy than this other one though. All right, let me put a bit on it and see if it jumps up any right away. 1520 in my max bed. And right now, okay, it took me up to 1070 as the high bidder. So we'll see where that goes. Now it's got the time at five minutes, nine seconds. All right, I put a max bid on this one at 1520, and somebody's running up to 1510. There's still four minutes left, so they're probably going to outbid me on that. I think I'm going to move on to a different one. This one right here is only $120 obviously you can't see much on my phone here but this is actually a pretty nice neat full unit for 120 dollars and then this is a nice one here it's at 910 it's got a lot of tools and stuff in it so it's like do i want to just drop down and get this i mean this is a pack 10 by 15 right here for only 120 dollars i mean it, it's going to go for more than that but we're up here i mean we're over fifteen hundred dollars and i'm still winning but one more bid and i'm out so let's just see what happens with this one who knows maybe it'll count all the way down and i'll win it but i don't think so all right let me continue on with this box right here that i had started this says it's some kind of a lantern it's really light i think it's one of those like chinese lanterns I'm going to keep on saying it. People will complain probably, but I mean, the amount of new stuff, it's just unreal. It's okay. It's metal. Well, you can see it there, but it's like a metal lantern you put outside, like on a table. Out on a patio or something like that. And we got a butterfly. Fairy accessory. Oh, these are the wings, fairy wings. And then a new popcorn maker here we got a is it ice cream maker yep ice cream maker and then one more this might be another one of the lanterns yep marrakesh lantern green so this one's green and last but not least the blah fix hmm all right now we're moving on to the um shoes okay hold on yeah i knit it up let me all right the one that i put the 1500 dollars bid in it ended up going for more than that so i stopped on that because there was another unit packed full a little bit smaller but this thing I got right here, it was packed full. Uh, Sandy Springs, $210, 10 by 15, fully packed. Mini fridge, appliances, bedding, clothing, boxes, bags, totes, furniture. And, um, I mean, it's nice and neatly stacked, so. I ended up winning that one for a fraction of the other one, so hopefully it turns out pretty good. But let's move on over here to the box that said jewelry tree just cut it open here let's see candy tray jewelry tree there it is right there i got a feeling it's probably just something she never even used and it's not gonna have any jewelry there it says connie's room on it so i wonder if it was taken out and put in her room no it looks like it was never even never even put together but let's check and make sure yeah this thing's never been used i don't see nothing else in there but it's nice anyways been nicer with jewelry on it but what is this lil light li and fung trading so we got the chinese name on here um brayden lamp white so it appears to be a lamp It's a new lamp, probably for Connie's room. 
we got a few pairs of shoes here. Shoe, a pair of Timberlands. They're in good shape. Shoes are all, you know, you know, good shape on average. Some in really good shape. Some have, you know, a good bit of wear. There's some bass shoes. These are like they're probably maybe new. Never used. Yeah, look at the bottoms on those. Those are pretty nice. So that's that box. Shoes, the jewelry tree, and then the lamp. Another box here. This one was actually kind of busting open on the bottom. And it's an Amazon pantry box. And then there's pink dots on some of these. I don't really know what the pink dot's for. They seem to be more on the ones that are like Connie's personal stuff. You know, not the gift ones. I don't know if maybe that's what that indicates. But that's kind of what it looks like maybe. Look, we got a... Calvin Klein pillow. Is this the same thing? No, this is a Ralph Lauren pillow. It looks like this is going to be like linens, and I think that's what it said, actually. Um, well, no, it doesn't say nothing here. Right there, uh, placemats, tablecloths, etc. That's a reversible bath rug. I think this is the same one, it's just been used versus this one is new you I can see a little bit of wear we'll throw that in the dig actually now I'm not the auctions full so I'm just getting some buggy loads of stuff to send up front to price just to put out in the store since we're really ahead this week because because of how easy this unit was we'll just try to get some inventory going for the store here blanket um, it's like a little car wash mitt here but as you see, yeah, that's what this is, is, is linens and stuff. It's a tablecloth. Oh, we got storage box. You know, this thing unfolds and makes one of those little storage boxes. Um, Placemats, all that kind of stuff. And then down below, more table covers. Blankets. Some of these are, you know, some new, some some not. But even the ones that aren't like these. <laughs> Blue jean placemats are all folded up nice and neat. There's a crochet table. Victorian crochet table. I don't know if that's a full tablecloth or like a runner or what. But, and then Ann's about to see what Connie's shoes and handbags look like here. See shoes. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. I was just kind of helping you along the way. You were trying to help me and I wasn't being helpful. Well, look right here. What I can see is that. You can tell these are all new because you can see the bottom how clean they are new slippers new new flip-flops and slippers all oh, this is new that that might have been worn well i don't know there's still a sticker on the bottom so at least right here on the top where's the mic um it's probably down in i mean some of these i mean are still in plastic but that's definitely new you can see the bottom yep that's that one there these have been used, but these are still sellable. Keen, like hiking shoes. And then you get down here and there's more. Look at these. These are pretty nice. I don't know. Um, Loa. Looks like kind of a hiking shoe. And then you get down here more. Here's another one. Some sort of hiking type shoe. Ooh, I like Land's End. There you go, Ann. What size do you wear? Eight. Eight and a half. These are eight, I think. Um, well, I don't know, it says A9. I don't know what size they are. Still pulling out shoes. I don't know who Fred Perry is, but here's some Fred Perry shoes. Grasshoppers for kids. Yeah. But most of them are, good majority of them are new or light new. Got a few pairs that weren't too good, but I'm about to open up this, con this container here. This is kind of an odd container for this unit because it's most, pretty much all boxes and then a few clear containers with white lids so this is an odd one just being packed in this and we got lots of packing bubbles here looks like maybe some decor maybe a candle holder all wrapped up nice and tight Got it really tight here. 
kind of looks like a, this looks maybe like a Christmas item. Snowman, okay. Heartwood Creek by Jim Shore. It kind of looks like a, like a country snowman. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what else. Victorinox Swiss Army. This thing's never been opened. Bread, is it a bread knife? It says bread on the back. Yeah, it's a big um, big old knife. I guess it's a bread knife. There's the handle. It's got like a sheath or something. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it all the way open. Yeah. All right, this very nice wooden box. It says WG pin box on it. Very nice. Got the long basket here. Let's keep on going. Oh, there's something in there. Little ball jar, mason jar. Home sheet comb zipper seal storage bags. Never been opened. Okay, these are like fancy storage bags. Here's another box of them on the fancy storage bags. Good taping and wrapping going on here. That is for sure. Wow, this is kind of cool. Um, Costa Rica. Very nice. It's got like a basket weave around the edge. And it's kind of like a clay like bowl here. Kind of looks like something maybe you put some fruit in or something. Keep on digging, finding some goodies for sure. There's a coaster. I don't know if there's gonna be more of them or not. Um, this is, she's used a couple of these, these gelato containers to put stuff in. What is this? We've got a little bird, oh, it's a turkey. A little glazed pottery turkey there. And we got a little clay, like, kind of looks like a monkey mask, monkey face. Maybe something she got from Costa Rica, I'm guessing. Keep on going, man. This thing is, all their stuff is packed really well, and it's just top to bottom goodies. Hardly no trash, that's for sure. This is a very nice piece of pottery. It's marked there on the bottom it kind of looks like green slime running over the edge but it's but it's really nice all right we got a mystery brick here it's kind of shaped like a brick it sounds wooden now that I'm touching it kind of huh It's a little wooden piano. Is it like a music box? All right, you can open that up and there you go. Yeah, you can see in there the little music things going around. So that's nice. All right, I think this might be a matching candle holder. Yep, there we go. So this one. So it makes a little pair there. There's a little spreading spoon like the spread butter or something. I don't know if that goes to something or not. Here's a Jim Shore 
box here. And this says the same thing, Hartwood Creek. So this might be another piece that kind of goes with the other one. Oh, it's an owl. A Jim Shore owl. That's good. That's neat right there. That's a little bit smaller figure, not real big, but. And look, we still got several things left down in here. Crate and barrel, little, <laughs> says it's a cupcake pedestal, okay. A special dish for your cupcake. And this is a little, oh, this is an owl. Oh, this is a Jim Shore owl, it's like a graduation owl. One hundred percent pure blue agave sweetener. Looks like there's two of these. I don't know how old this is. This stuff had been in there for a while, so this is probably probably pretty old. Probably not going to be any good. Yeah, best by June thirteenth, two thousand fourteen. So almost ten years past the best buy date. So that might not be too great. Got a couple little bins here. Oh, we got a quarter. A quarter and a marble. But a plastic bin. Here's another plastic bin, but it's got some stuff in it. Um, let's see, looks like more. Well, that looks like another one of those. So maybe this kind of makes a little set. This is some kind of other little saucer. Let's skip that. I think that's a toothpick holder. Um, well, sugar pack, crate and barrel sugar packet holder. And then right here, this is one of those things that holds cotton balls. It looks like they got some cotton balls in it. Some wall mounting stuff. A couple more things here. Um, little set of like mixing bowls here, or portion bowls. Um, it's like a scarf. Then one more thing here to unwrap. Let's see. So there was a lot in this container right here. And that's one of the things that makes this making this unit so good is there's just the, the sheer volume of stuff because they've got these boxes packed so well and so tight that it's really good stuff. And then every box or container just has so much in it because of how well they're packed. I've had units before that were really good, but ended up just not being as much stuff as I would have wished because the boxes were so loosely packed they could have fit more, but I think this is another Jim Shore thing. It's an angel, but it is Jim Shore, I can already tell. And the Jim Shore, yep, there you go, Jim Shore, same thing, Hartwood Creek, Angel. And that's it for that container. Find any more good shoes over there? Yeah, <laughs> and really all they have to be is some of the purses and shoes you just have to wipe yeah. down. Yeah. But Ann says they're pretty much new or they're, you know, very good condition with just a well, couple I mean, little stuffs or marks. Or even new stuff that just has a little mark here and there just from, you know, being stored where it just rubs up against something. All right, that's another group of boxes and probably only about 150 more boxes to go. <laughs>